when it comes to homegrown fruit, this might not be the first thing that springs to mind. But here at Tatton Park in Cheshire, they were growing these over 200 years ago. And this cost the equivalent to about £4,000 in today's currency. Now about five years ago, they started growing them again. So I'm going to go in there and have a look, see what it's all about. I've got to tell you, it's about 90 degrees in here, so I'm just a little bit warm. But that's the temperature that these guys need to grow. And look at this fella, it's beautiful. And who would have thought they actually grow like this? One single fruit on one plant. This is ripe. And you can tell by that lovely, full tropical aroma on it. Now this takes about 18 months to get to this eating position. But when it's picked, they have to take a little side shoot and replant it and start the whole process again. So I want to leave this just where it is. I'm going to take this I'm going to go back and I'm going to cut a lovely pineapple cheesecake. Great We're going to start off making our pineapple puree. And for that, we've got our chopped up pineapple in the pan. So I'm going to add the pineapple juice. We're going to bring it to the boil and simmer it for about 10 minutes. Meanwhile, we can prepare our biscuit crumb base. And for that, we have ginger nut biscuits crushed up. Bit of melted butter, give it a good stir, combine it all together. Now we can start to prepare our filling. And that is simply some cream cheese, mascarpone cheese, and whipped up double cream with a bit of icing sugar in it. Next, creamed coconut. It's basically concentrated coconut and it's got a really intense flavour. Now, we're just going to gently fold all that in to get a lovely smooth amalgamated mixture. So that's that folded in. Now we can do our garnish and shave nice big pieces into a baking tray. And what we're going to do is put that into a 180 degree preheated oven for just a few minutes. Keep an eye on it and we're looking for it to go just nice and coloured around the edges. So pineapple's been simmering away for 10 minutes. We're now going to give it a bit of a helping hand with the old juice extraction with our potato masher. That is going to make our pineapple and passion fruit sauce to go around the edge. Strain the juice. We're going to set that on one side and when it's cool to room temperature, we'll put it in the fridge. Once you've strained the pineapple juice off, just take the pineapple that you've got left put it into a blender and blitz it to a puree. Right, that is going to cool to room temperature and then go straight in the fridge. And there are our toasted coconut shavings. Right, our pineapple puree has cooled down sufficiently to fold in to our cheese and cream mixture. When you're ready to serve, assembly is just nice service plate. We've got a cooking ring here and I've just greased that lightly. Here's our ginger nut biscuits with the mixed in butter and just press a spoonful of the mix into the bottom of the ring. Now we're going to spoon the mixture into the ring here, just lightly press it down and then just pressing gently on the top, slide up the cooking ring. And now we start our garnishing. So we've got the reserved 
chilled pineapple juice that we strained off earlier. And in here, I've got the seeds and juice from one passion fruit. I'm going to mix those together. Lovely combination. Give that a stir and just spoon that around the plate like that. Then take some of our toasted shaved coconut and just arrange that on top of the cheesecake. Simple as that. 